Welcome for yet another lesson. Uh, we are going to do inequalities where a question says solve the following inequalities and give your answer as a combined inequality. Therefore, uh, we got a pair of simultaneous inequalities here whereby we are taught to solve and give the answer as a combined inequality. Okay, these are compound statements whereby we should uh, make simple statements. For example, we can reduce the first compound statement into a simple statement by treating it as a normal linear equation, yet it has an inequality symbol. Whereby we will say 3x greater than negative 10 shall become 3x and we have negative 5 taken to the other side, such that this will be greater than negative 10 minus 5, which becomes negative 15, which becomes negative 15. Can be resolved to x is greater than negative 5 when we divide root by 3. So that is the first simple statement. The second simple statement is the first simple statement. The second simple statement will be obtained from this. Wherever we have 2x minus 3 less than or equal to positive 5. Which means now, uh, in this one, we will have 2x. Instead of minus 3, we take it to the other side. Such that minus 3 becomes positive 3 on this side. And 5 plus 3 will give us x. Such that to remain with x, then we will have to divide 2 by 2, such that this is our second symbol statement. So to make a combined statement, then we are going to combine the two symbol statements in that we can have x being a value greater than negative 5, but x is a value less than 4. So x ranges between negative 5. So on the lower side, if we interchange this statement, then it will read as negative 5 is less because we are saying x is greater than negative 5. Then negative 5 is less than x. So if we say x is greater than 5, then it means negative 5 is less than x. So it is a value greater than negative 5 but a value less than 4. So we have grouped the two symbol statements into a combined statement. A combined statement. We can just state the integral values which satisfy these inequalities. Therefore, because x ranges from negative 5 to and including negative 4, because in this inequality we have the symbol which means inclusivity, then we can say the values satisfying x, the values of x for these two inequalities, though we have not been told to state, but some other times the examiner will tell you to state the values for the integral values of x satisfying the inequality. Negative 5 is not one of them, lower limit. So we are starting from negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. 0, 1, 2, 3, and because of this symbol, 4 is also included. So that is how we handle questions on linear inequalities. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link. Thank you.